Hey, this is Mike. I'm going to uh, give you a little bit of a instruct here on how to put a fall rudder on a resi. And the reason you want to do that is because if you look down here, you'll see the, the new rudder, which is the fall one, and here's the old one. And this is the this is the fin or the skeg here, and this is the rudder. So we get a much greater uh, surface area with a rudder which is a great advantage when we're uh, taking head turns. So we're going to go through this uh, kind of step by step. And the first step is we're taking the yoke off here. So we've undo, undone all the fasteners there. And this is the, the yoke on top of the rotor post, and that's coming off. And the reason we're doing that is because we're going to put a bungee cord underneath, which we'll show you in a sec. Yep, and those come right out there. And then we're putting those all in a nice handy dandy bucket so we know where everything is. So we don't lose any of our we don't lose any of our little parts. Alrighty. This is the top of the rudder post. So what we're going to do is take this one all the way out here. So this this fastener will come all the way out. These will just get loosened. And then this will come off. And what that allow us to do is when this comes off, then we can drop our thin down. I'm sorry, our rudder down. Before we do that though, we're going to loosen this and take our uh, our fin off because we can't get the rudder out without that. And to do that, right down in there, we have to unloosen this fastener and take that hardware off. Okay. Now that we've gotten the, uh, the uh, fastener off, the fastener off here, what I'm going to do now is Pull the uh, pull the fin out, and the fin is attached up here just with a little bit of let me back up there with a little bit of I usually use gum. If there's dum dum you can put in there different stuff. So I'm just going to pull this down, and this should come right out. So that's out right now, and this is the uh, this is the skeg. This is the regular skeg that they have, and you can see up there we have just a little bit of called Dum Dum. Like I said, I usually use bubble gum just because I always have it around. Okay, so we'll put this away. Okay, so we'll put this away. This will be the replacement uh, that will go in there where I just pulled the skeg out and you can tell the hardware is right here and we'll put that up and we'll do that in a minute. We'll keep that handy. So you can see we've got our tools up here and a nice little cover for the deck of the boat because it's a freshly painted boat. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and loosen these up. This middle one, as I said before, will come out. These will get loosened so we can take this off and replace, replace the uh, rudder. As you can see, we've got the, uh, the two end ones are loose and we're taking the middle one out. The middle one goes through the uh, the fin post, there's a hole in, I'm sorry, the rudder post, there's a hole in that. So we're going to undo that, pull that all the way out, drop all the little things as we, everybody always does. And that should slide right off the top. There we go. And you can see here's your, uh, here's the very top of the rudder post. I'm going to slide that down. And this should come right out. And there we have our regular rudder has come out. You can see we've got our little bushings there that we need to keep hold of. And now we'll get ready to put the other one on. To give you some idea of the difference here, the size, you can see pretty much how the fall one's significantly bigger and also deeper and longer. What we're having to do here is just remove the bushing what we we'll remove this one here. The post we've got is not drilled. You can tell how long it is. So what we'll have to do is mark that and drill it so we can get the same holes uh, lined up here for the bushings. OK, so then the question is, because on the new, the new post you get, there's, there's no holes drilled. As you can see, it's, it's long and there's no holes. So where should you put the holes? And what we're going to do, and now these are the holes for the bushings and also for the rudder, rudder yoke that goes up here. 
So what we're going to do is use this as a template and put this right on top and line it up and we'll stick a pen down in there and we'll make a mark for where our holes should be. So that's the hole that goes down beneath the surface. And then we'll have two holes up here. That's one for the bushing and the top hole is the one for the rudder yoke. And that what we'll do is we'll take that over to our handy dandy work workbench and drill the holes. Notice we are not going to drill the holes on top of the surface of the Resolute. And we'll be right back after we drill those holes. step will be to trim off the excess from the top here. We're putting the yoke in a vise here and we're going to use a uh, hacksaw. This is a very hard material so I definitely have a, have a hacksaw for it. and trimmed. Little rough edges, we'll take care of those, smooth them down, and then we'll uh, be all ready to get back to our installation. Now we're ready to uh, start reassembling, so probably the first step here is we're going to uh, Put the bushings back on, the little white bushings here, and so we'll rub those, run those on, and uh, put those two on. Okay, now we've got the bushings on, as you can see, they're on here, and we'll put this up into it and uh, attach the rudder yoke. find that the, uh, it doesn't go up smoothly enough, it might be the case where the, uh, the bushings aren't tight enough. So we've got the, uh, the fin, the new fin, put in, and finding it's just a little bit on the snug side. So what we're going to do is pull it out and tighten these up here a little bit. The bushings, you want to get them very, very tight. If not, it's a little bit snug because those run right around in the uh, in the um, uh, the post that goes up through the boat. Okay, so what we're doing here is the um, post was a little bit tight, and we think the reason why is because the bushing was just a little bit too snug on the channel that ran up through the boat. So we're just taking a little bit of emery cloth there, about 320 grit, and just sanding it down a little bit just to get a little bit of width off there not much just enough to make it a smoother uh, turn okay now part of this is we're um, going to put the self-centering rudder on and so we have to drill a hole here in the yoke which is right about here so we'll drill a hole in that for the uh, for the bungee Okay, so we're putting the fasteners back on the, uh, the rudder yoke support. We'll tighten those up. And we also drilled this hole here for the self-centering bungee screwdriver. Okay, so this is the plug that's going to go in and take the place of the, uh, the skeg that came, came out. We'll put the rounded end towards the front of the boat. And we're going to put uh, something, a little secret weapon here. I'm going to have John hold the camera for a second. Uh, put 
put a little bit of chewing gum right up here. And what that does, you just want a little bit, you don't want a lot. It helps form a seal so that you don't have water running up the, uh, the post. If you put too much in here, that's the trick. I like, uh, I like extra gum. That works best for me. But if you put too much up here, what will happen is that it'll, you can't get it all the way up. So there you go. Just hit the little button there. And we're just going to take this and run it right up here. And you'll see the the, uh, the screw come. I'm sorry, the bolt come right up there. And put just a little bit of gum on that, and we'll put the washer and the nut on. Okay, so now we've got the uh, the washer, and you can see the gum here, and the wing nut, and that's nice and snug. And if you look up underneath here, you'll see that the uh, the plug. Makes a nice smooth surface, and right in front of the uh, the fin. Okay, so we drilled a hole through here for the uh, self-centering bungee, and we're going to clip that up there. Clips are cool. Okay. okay now we have to take the tape off. We have to take this tape off here. So we can get to the hole, little access hole, so we can put the put the silver cable through there. So we're tying a little bowling knot in there to secure that end. So one of the issues here, if you can look at this diagram, is the location of the little blocks. They don't give you an idea of this distance, of this distance, or any of these distances really. So we have a call into them to get a better idea. So in other words, if you're looking down from the top of the boat, how far from here to the blocks, how far are the blocks apart, and then the, to this self-centering cable, I mean to the bungee, sorry, you know, how far to there, and then back down. So we're trying to get that number, and then we'll have a better idea. What we're doing is uh, for locating the blocks. So, as you can tell, we're about three inches between. between. Now, what we're doing is measuring the distance between the center of the blocks. It's about three three inches there, and you can see how that's sitting away from the rudder post over there. Sorry, Miss Strickland. And so here comes the fun part: drilling holes in a brand new boat. This is where the, the blocks will be cut. Small. So what we did here is drilled small holes first, the guide holds. Okay, so I'm use a little bit bigger hole there. So we put a little tape there to keep from any uh, splintering of the deck. Okay. Pull the tape on. So you see a nice little hole there. Another nice little hole. So now we're doing is running down the block. And you can see a little O-ring right there. And that's out of the way of the head. That O-ring keeps the uh, keeps the block off the deck. Okay, so what we're doing here is putting a backing up underneath here. So going through the port and putting a large washer, the smaller washer than the uh, nylon lock washer or nut on there. That larger washer will keep pressure, uh, kind of expand any pressure on the decking from underneath so that it will keep it from cracking or breaking.
kind of a two-person job. As you can see, John's got his arm all the way down and they're holding the backside. It doesn't have to be a two-person job, but it certainly helps. Let's try that here. So we put the, the cover on. Oops. Let me get that nice and snug. Okay. And now we're going to take our little cable. We'll run that up through there. And that will, we'll put a loop in there, measure that out. Just for temporary purposes. Just to get a feel for the length of it. What this does, while John finishes that off, is since this fin is so big down here, if it's off just even a little bit, it will have a big impact on the boat. This self-centering mechanism will bring it right back to center for the coxswain, so it's actually a, uh, an aid for the coxswain. And what we're doing now is just doing a temporary tie on here, just so we can see what the tension should be in here. Okay, John, you want to give that a little test and see what you think? Okay, so that's probably a little bit loose, so we'll tighten it. Okay, so now what we're dealing with is just moving things around here a little bit to get the tightness just right. So we've adjusted the slip, and we'll get this to a point where we feel it's right, and then we'll just hog clip that up. So this is all just temporary, just so we can get an idea of exactly how good this will be. Okay, so this will be this will be clipped here. So then, when the rudder is moved, it will come right back to center. So it'll bring the yoke and the rudder right back to center. Okay, so we're putting the wire tie on it now. As you can see, what this does it just smushes those down because we want this to be firmly anchored. We're going to leave this like this with a little bit of tape on it, just so we can make sure that we're happy with it. We um, eventually. And then Yep. Eventually, hot tie. Right, and we went underneath to make sure that the uh, that the fin is absolutely perpendicular to the water. or running right up and down the center line of the boat. Actually, is a better choice of words. And then we'll just take care of this over here. We'll tape that up, and that'll give us an out. If we get on the water, coxswain doesn't like this. It's not quite fitting right. So what we'll do is uh, we can adjust here, or we can adjust there, and that's where we are right now.